In the 1920s, the Soviet Union was a place of bold experimentation and radical ideas, while the world saw the USSR as a land of revolution and ideology. Hidden in its laboratories was a story so bizarre, it feels like science fiction. This is the tale of Ilya Ivanov, a Soviet scientist who set out on a quest to create an entirely new species, an ape-human hybrid, a Soviet humanzi. Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov was no madman, at least not by the standards of his time. A respected biologist and pioneer of artificial insemination, Ivanov had already achieved fame for creating hybrids between species like zebras and horses. He was known as a stud doctor for his ability to inseminate 500 horses in one go, a feat unheard of at the time as the industry standard was a mere 20 with one round. But his ambitions didn't stop there. Ivanov was obsessed with Darwinian evolution and the idea of pushing the limits of science. And so he turned his attention to what he believed was the ultimate experiment, the creation of a hybrid between humans and apes. In 1926, with support from the Soviet government, Ivanov traveled to the French Guinea in West Africa. His goal was to conduct experiments using chimpanzees, attempting to artificially inseminate female apes with human sperm. Ivanov's work wasn't just a biological experiment, it was also deeply political. The Soviets saw it as a way to challenge their religious idea that humans were special, created in God's image. If Ivanov could create a humanzi, it would prove that humans were just another animal, shaped by evolution and biology, not divine intervention. But things didn't go as planned. Ivanov inseminated several female chimpanzees with human sperm, but none of them became pregnant. Uh, frustrated but undeterred, he returned to Soviet Union with a new, even more shocking plan to inseminate human women with chimpanzee sperm. Ivanov imported male chimpanzees to a research facility in Sukumi, where he intended to carry out his experiments. Reports suggest that he even sought volunteers among women, though details remain murky. But before he could proceed, fate and bureaucracy intervened. The 1930s were a turbulent time in the Soviet Union, and Ivanov's bizarre experiments fell out of favor with the government. Stalin's regime was now focused on other priorities, and Ivanov's work was seen as an embarrassment rather than a triumph of Soviet science. So in 1930, Ivanov was arrested during one of Stalin's many purges. Accused of counter-revolutionary activities, he was exiled to Kazakhstan, where he died two years later, and thus the Soviet Human Z project was closed.